Oh, what's up, guys? We're back for some more of uh, my Let's Play here today. Um, apologies for not posting this in a while, and I'm uh, currently trying to make this like a little artificial uh, area, which I am having no luck with as of lately. And it's a bit sad, so I'm never good. You know what? Yo, -la 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 -la. Um, last time we made the greenhouse, and obviously it's still going strong there. Looks pretty decent. Um, now I want to make a a, a mining area and uh, I want to make something simpler to if anybody watched X's original series I want to make something like the the, the X tunnel um, I want to make something like that so what I'm planning to do is like flatten all this land here if I can because I want to make it like here but I want it to be on the same surface level as uh, well, I want it to be on the same surface level as any of this so my plan is to just do this really for a while, um, I'm gonna try and flatten all this out as well. But I'm gonna put some music in the background, guys, and uh, I'll see you in about a minute. I, it probably won't be long, but you know, I'm gonna put some music in there. So yeah, see you in a minute. You know, I feel like uh, people would be screaming at me right now, begging for me to go and get an enchantment on my pick. And I'm pretty sure I already have an enchanted pick over here somewhere else, which I really should use. And that would probably make it a lot more easier. I I'm just going to talk through the rest of this because, quite frankly, I don't want to have like an entire video full of fast forwards. But regardless of that fact, uh, I, I, I was watching the Olympics the other day and I wanted to think that... Um, I wanted the thing about well, well I can't even speak today. <laughs> I wanted the thing about uh, now personally I do not want the end of the Olympics. So don't be thinking this is about me. But I was thinking, could someone at the age of like twenty or around my age, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, start training now and be able to compete in the Olympics in four years' time? Because I don't know. I, I kind of think this to myself, and I'm thinking. You know, stuff like gymnastics, no chance, because these people have been training since they were, like, three years old. I mean, their parents put them in the gymnastic classes, especially in China. I've, I've seen some of the Chinese uh, training schedules, and their parents basically put these training camps, uh, put their children in these training camps, and they have no life. Like, they will train five, six uh, days a week, and on those days, they will train for, like, insane amounts of time. So they'll be in school from, like, nine to, five, nine to four, nine to three, 
and then they will be straight out of the training camps and they will be there for like four or five hours a day and they literally have no life outside of that um that's why china does so well usa does really well as well um you, you'll you'll see a lot of the big countries in particular with lots of population doing well um obviously you get people like phelps who's just absolutely dominating the pool and he's a genetic freak man he's a freak of nature same with some of the other guys, like you see Usain Bolt and stuff like that. I, I think there comes a point, there's no matter no mo uh, no matter how much you actually train, you can't be that good. You have to be born with the genetics, and people are just born like that. You see like people like Arnold Schwarzenegger, he was born with very good genetics in terms of muscle growth. That's why those guys are so big, that's why those guys are so fast. It's because of their genetics, and uh, I just used to say to myself, fuck genetics and train the hardest. Um, but there is a point, you know, where someone may struggle to do something. But that doesn't mean you can't get better at it. I mean, like, if you go and do gymnastics for the next 10 years, you'll probably be better than you were at the start. But then there's, like, a, an age barrier, I guess. You know, some sports... Some sports you really can't compete in. Um, after a certain age, because, like, gymnastics requires you to be young in your peak. And, uh, you know, when you get towards your late 20s, early 30s, really, that's gone. You know? I don't, that's not to say, like... Apparently a human body starts to die when you're 40 years old, which is kind of scary. Apparently we weren't meant to survive that long, you know. Back in the caveman era, people would die before they had 40, and that was a lifespan. But now as technology has advanced, you know, people are gradually getting older and older. And uh, we see that with people, which is pretty cool. Uh, I wonder where we'll be in 100 years, especially like uh, with sporting advancements. I was looking at the... the uh, 100 meter sprint times from like 1936 I think it was uh, I was looking at Jesse Owens uh, time Jesse Owens is a, uh, a black sprinter a uh, track and field athlete for the USA uh, I was like reading up and I found it very harsh that the, basically the guy went to Germany um, won four gold medals 100 meter 200 meter track and field uh, sorry long jump and then he also won um, what else did he win I'm not really sure if I want to keep this here some of it looks very actually you know what i can do my pro manipulation earth band in here and make it look a bit natural i think that looks a bit better and then we'll probably do the same here and my phone is getting absolutely bombarded with text right now which is not good we'll do that and then we'll do the same over there i'm okay with this it doesn't look too bad i was actually going to take the entire thing out but i think this looks better Doing it this way, so let's try and get this done here. We are actually I best plug this up in case anything spawns in it. There we are. I'll probably fix that up eventually, but this is gonna be my this is gonna be my digging hole, diggy diggy hole for any Yorkscast fans. I don't really watch Yorkscast, never been a fan. Doesn't mean I have anything against them before anybody goes, Oh my god, Paul! Why you hate your cat? Um, but you know, I was thinking that um, in terms of athletics, uh, the speed goes up. Like the the entry to these athletics goes up and up every year. I mean, I think like in 1930, the speed for the 100 meter sprint was like 10.4, and now you know, fast forward 80 years later. It's almost come down an entire second, and you're probably thinking, oh, a second, no, it's nothing, but, you know, in a 100 meter sprint it is. So I'm just curious to see where it'll be in, you know, like, let's say 100 years' time. What will the, I, I honestly think human technology will advance so much. And, you know, I think some of these guys are on steroids. I, I, it's just my assumption. I know people will disagree, but there's no way some of these guys are performing at that level without performance enhancing drugs. Um, just my opinion. Don't get butthurt over it, but. You know, that's just what I think. Um, I'm just gonna dig a big, massive um, one of these singer bobs, which is a stairway. Um, but I, I just wonder where we'll be in like a hundred years' times in terms of sporting achievements. I mean, I can see a lot of you know, it would be insane to get it down to like eight seconds. I think that would be mad. That's like th wow, how many miles an hour? I have no idea. I think it's what Usain Bolton runs at like 32 mil an hour. So apparently, if you get hit by that guy when he was running full speed, you die. Because the guy's like, I have no idea. I think he's like 180 pounds, maybe 200 pounds, a pure muscle. 
So you get hit by that, I think you're dead. Unfortunately. But we'll see. So technically, should he get a speeding ticket for that? I'm not really sure, but I'm thinking that if you start training now for stuff like ping pong or archery, because I mean you see people you see really old athletes in there, you see like I don't think sports require as much uh, physical. Well, they do, they do, but they don't require as much physical, you know. Uh, or I say here, it's more of coordination and stuff like that for ping pong and archery. I mean, it isn't very physically demanding. Well, ping pong can be. I play. I used to play ping pong a lot, like competitively and stuff. And a lot of people are gonna make a joke saying, "Oh, Paul, you're Asian. <laughs> no wonder you play ping pong." And I'm not Asian. Everybody wants it. I'm not Asian. I, I, I get that a lot. Like everybody's always like that to me. And the reason I'm collecting gold now is because you get XP from it. Even though it's already tiny amount, it all adds up. Yes, this is 1.3. Nothing in here. Nope. Take my torch back there, and I will be on my very way, good sir. There we go. Make a little jump over here. Oops. So now we just need to go down even more, but yeah, I'm gonna eventually somehow I get all this chimed out, which is gonna be a hassle, if I'm gonna be honest. I'll get all this out. And uh, so if I started training for like ping pong or archery tomorrow, do you think I can compete in the Olympics in like eight years time? I don't want to, by the way, just let you know, I'm not really a sporting achievement. Um, but I was watching some of the men's weightlifting, and I don't know. It just seems fishy, you know. I, these athletes train their entire lives for stuff like this. I mean, it's not like they're gonna uh, let other people better them because some of them might be taking a performance enhancing drugs. So I don't see why they don't. But I don't know. Because uh, with the technology nowadays, it's really easy to go under the radar with stuff like that. I mean, it's not like impossible, you know. But I suppose, I don't know, I don't think the Olympics will ever be 100% all natural. You see a lot of, I mean, every year you see people getting banned on, you know, charges of drugs. So, you can't really say, oh, the Olympics is 100% natural. If you look back like 100 years ago, sure. See, I think that's why the speeds are coming up so much. You either get genetic freaks in the pool, which do come up once in a while. Or you get, you know, performance and healthy drugs making everything better. Um, what am I doing here? Yeah, I am digging down here gonna make a dark room soon probably just gonna steal ethers then because a lot of people probably go the guy makes the best most efficient mob traps you know it's like uh, me programming and not using an algorithm that's proven to be efficient you know I'm gonna use something that's efficient every time and currently Ethel has one of the best mob trap designs out I don't even know if it was Ethel who invented it but it's one of the best ones out for space and for efficiency, so I will use that. But I need to get everything else sorted first in this. Uh, Minecraft, I have an idea for a prank. It's probably going to be mass kick involved, and I have no idea who it's going to be yet. So I'll let you guys vote in the comments who do you want me to prank. However, it's the most. I know it's probably going to be Etho, because everybody loves Etho, but I, I don't want to kind of prank Etho, because I know if I do, he will. My Minecraft career is over. The guy will absolutely destroy everything. So, I think I, I, I might start off small, you know, I might, I might go for the new guys and then work my way up. I want to get that coal. Oh, sorry, that iron. Yeah, there we go. So, I can actually do something with it. What floor are we on? We're on F3. Uh, f okay. So, yeah, we've got a long way to go. Most of this will just be digging. Don't see why you don't get XP for iron though. It's pretty weird. I think you should get some and put it there. But it's my opinion. Obviously, my opinion doesn't matter sometimes. Cause nothing else matters. Never say no. I'm a crowd singer. I was thinking some Olympic sports that you could add. You know, and I was thinking that. Why isn't stuff like Strongman in it, you know? And a lot of people are probably going to be saying, you know... I, I was wondering why the squat and stuff in it, like powerlifting wasn't in it, but then... I kind of figured out that powerlifting is one of the most drug-abusive sports. 
I mean, lifting weight is really easy to performance enhance, so that's probably why. But I like the traditional strongman, you know, stuff like lifting up shitloads of barrels and running, or something like that. I like stuff like that. I think that should be in the Olympics. Um, I was actually reading, the, I was reading up in the ancient Olympics, and man, that shit was intense. Like a lot of the stuff they have for that. Holy crap, it's mad. And I, I also want to pick up on this discussion, right? I was having a discussion with my friend the other day, and I was wondering if human technology would ever advance so far that we would be able to build in the sky. You know, like, I know skyscrapers and stuff exist, but we would be able to build roads and stuff in the sky. I mean, we can't magically grow land, but there is a lot of space above us, so I'm assuming that one day, you know, human technology is going to get that far, but... I don't know, it would probably remind me of something like The Simpsons, or The Jetsons, or something like that. It, it was gonna happen, I guess. Um, yeah, but we do have a long way to go here, so. Long road to ruin. Oops. Maybe one day, though. I was gonna bust out in a ballad of Nickelback's one day, but no way am I singing that dude. No way. Same day. <laughs> Nickelback are coming to uh, Manchester in October, and I'm so tempted to go just for lols. I'd probably get drunk and then just go and sing the other songs and lose all the dignity that I ever had. That's assuming I had any in the first place, but nah, man, it's like £40 pound a ticket. I, just, I, you know, I, would, I probably wouldn't go somewhere and get me a free ticket. So, sorry Nickelback, I won't be appearing at your concert in Manchester. I know you'll be deeply offended by that, but please, please try and hold on. Because, you know, big fans around the world would be disappointed if the almighty Nickelback somehow ceased to exist one day. I'm sure. I'm actually, uh, well, it's a bit of a random topic change, but I'm actually in the process of doing some modifications to some of my, uh, hardware that I own. I have a MSI Wine notebook. A small notebook. It's about the size. It's like, uh, in this, if it's notebooks or small, put it that way. Um. So I ordered some more RAM for it, and I'm going to overclock the processor. Now, I'm not sure if I can actually overclock the processor if the battery... Uh, you know, I think it needs to be actually plugged in for me to overclock the processor. So I'm not too sure. I mean, the only reason I would use a notebook is if I'm going to a lecture or something in class. I have my laptop. My laptop is not big at all, but... Um, no. I know, I kind of want to. I like experimenting with small things. I know, I know someone's going to. Small thing, your penis. No, don't. I know someone's going to do that. So, don't even try it. I've already called out the joke. It's not fun. Well, it is sort of funny, but that would be implying that I have a small penis in the first place. Hey! <laughs> uh, comedic genius, me, eh? My friend keeps sending me pictures of his dogs. They're so cute. I love them. He has, uh, he has, he has three dogs. Yeah, he has this uh, black fur dog. I can't remember what the exact breed is, but he called it Ali after Muhammad Ali. And he says he is very strong and he eats lots of food. And he's called Ali. And then he has another wee pup, and he called it Shugo. Shugo, who calls a dog Shugo? Honestly, I, I, I find it funny, but they're they're really really hyperactive puppies i'll put a picture of one up i think on this video if i can they're really cute i'll put a picture up when they were puppies they're like uh two and four years old now and then the big one ali he's 13 so it's it's my friend the dogs bees dogs and we're thinking of making the dog a twitter and just tweeting wolf wolf every day and putting pictures of videos. <laughs> so darn cute but enough about that i've actually ordered a ps2 to do some let's plays with my friends soon I really want to like play through a game like Dynasty Warriors or something back in the day. I used to play like all the time, and uh, I don't know about that. I have a feeling like a creeper or something's gonna jump in here, so I better hurry up and get this done before anything happens, because I really do think something like that's gonna happen soon. Well, the benefit of making this branch man is I'm running into a lot of resources, and I really do need to create some sort of center area for all my boxes i'm thinking of just making a giant pixel art chest and then having crap loads of chests in it so i don't know how that sounds but we'll see I mean, this xp is really adding up with the coal i think we get a lot more when we get down the 
and get diamonds. Uh, I need to go find emeralds, but emeralds don't spawn here, do they? I need to go to new chunks. So maybe I'll create a system. Uh, for stuff like that. But we'll see. I'll probably have to go a long way away to get emeralds as well. I don't know. Maybe nether time. I'm, have I been in nether? I don't think I have. Actually, I have once. Actually, no, I haven't, have I? No idea. Oh, yeah, I have to get those redstone lamps, derp. Put that there. Nearly done here, though. I know it's been quite a repetitive episode, but I just like playing Minecraft like this. Just chilling out, rambling about random topics. And Max and relaxing, shooting some b-ball. So we're on 37, okay. Should be a little bit down about uh, 15 here. And then the other one will take us down even more. So we'll do that now. There we go, into the depths of hell. Probably best cutting the rest of this down while I go. Because I won't be able to hop up and get it later. I just have a feeling. Well, a creeper would die if it jumped down here, so I really have no thing to worry about. I found out that Minecon is conflicting with a day. I booked tickets to a big drum and beat fest or rave night in Manchester on the 24th of November. It's hospitality. I have one of my favorite artists, High Contrast, Ned Sky. All an electricity spy, all those drum and bass artists. But then, Mang Kong's on the 25th, and I was like, uh, what one did I go to? I'm not really sure right now. I mean, Mang Kong, I, I want to go with Nile. I want to meet some lo lots of cool people. Um, but I think I'm going to go to Mang Kong, because Mang Kong only comes around once a year, whereas this drum and bass event, there's crap loads on. Well, there's crap loads for three or four years. But, you know, Mang Kong, I don't know how long Mang Kong will go on for. Maybe they're going to have it every year, it depends. Like, QuakeCon still goes on every year, and they still have, like, loads of people. Like, the attendee list goes up every year. Um, 23, so let's just quickly dig down and see how far we can get here. Oops, there is a, a cavern. Not something I was actually exactly expecting here. Let's go and check out if I need more torches. Uh, can I make some? I can indeed. Throw that out. Uh, well, I'll throw out those. I don't need those. Some exploring to do. I feel like a skelly is just waiting here to kill me. Didn't seem anything bad so far, I guess. But you have to be aware that I have no armor on me right now. Doesn't seem too bad. But I'm afraid. I'm not. Oh god! Oh fuck! That scared me. There's some lava down there, I assume. Oh crap. I really don't want to be in here right now. With all this. Okay, I'm gonna go back in case I get lost. Because normally I probably will get lost. In the middle of nowhere. On the meantime, I will take all these. I want to go up and check the new uh, enchantment thing out because I, I heard you can get some really decent stuff at low levels now. So I think I'm going to enchant a sword. I mean, I have 16 levels, which is more than enough for a decent enchantment. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see. I was going to gather all this coal while I can, though, just for some more extra XP because that should help out in the long run. And I want to be more resource efficient. You know, when I play RPGs, I always, like, be really efficient with my stuff. But when I play Minecraft, I'm like, fuck this shit. Um, some more iron up there. Too bad you don't get anything from iron. I really think they should fix that, though. I guess you're going to get it from pure things. Just checking to make sure there's no mobs down there. Shrooms, nice, casual. And I really have no plans to go down there right now. Some redstone. Nice. And again, stuff like this. Nope. Am I even on? I'm on peaceful, no fucking wonder. I didn't even know why I'm on peaceful. Watch 
should I go up here and someone's gonna kill me? My sister must have been playing on my account again because she plays on my other world sometimes. She's only nine. Aw. Oh. Might as well, uh, can't be bothered. I, I'm just gonna go up now. I was wondering if my, my hunger wasn't going down there. No, I finally know. Let's grab all this stuff. Um, if I get to level like 18 or something, I'll be happy. Here we are. I'm happy. Oh, where we go. Back up. I swear I think there's gonna be like mobs here. This isn't good. Don't like this at all. Please don't be a creeper. I just have a feeling something's gonna explode on me. Why up here? Not good. I lit up here up, didn't I? Yeah, fucking hell, I knew that. Get away, get away. Hmm. Skelly there, I'm okay with that. Expert strafing skills. But I'm not okay with a creeper about here, so. Can I pick that up? Can I? Throw that away. I go over and kill this guy here. Come at me, brah! Oh, there we go. And then just light this place up. We are. I don't know why. why. How can you do that? I have no idea. Well, there we go. So I'm going to end the episode. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time, where we will hopefully complete that. And uh, yeah, so bye.